You haven't clapped yourself. I know. I was like, why am I clapping? Why am I clapping? <laughs> and welcome, OT. OT, thanks for coming on the sofa. The Thank competition is really heating up now for Dancing on Ice, isn't it? It definitely is. I don't think we've ever had such high standard before because every single one of the celebs are so, so good. But also, they're really working hard and they're all really passionate and you can see it every Sunday night. I mean, they're not oh. all so good, are yes, they? Yes, they are. I mean, they are, actually. I mean, they I know, are really... But, but, like, there's got to be someone who's really standing out. Come on. Um, oh, you mean standing out? Yeah. There, there are a few that are standing yeah. out. And for individual reasons. Like, for me, someone who I really adore is Adele, and I think she's got an incredible story. She's such a strong woman. She's never danced, never skated before, and every single week she gives us something completely different. We also had Ryan Thomas. Who... He's brilliant, isn't he? He's brilliant, isn't he? He fell twice, and then he came back this time. Sunday with an extraordinary program and it, it's just the development that you never know what's going to happen every single Sunday. It's just so unpredictable. But they all deserve to be there. Because it was really, you know, that it was very competitive between him and Greg, like Ryan Thomas and Greg Rutherford. Is it? Oh, yeah. yeah, they're yeah. very competitive behind the scenes. Yeah. Okay, I didn't just, know. That's my little scoop when oh, I was yeah. there. Anyway. She's got a little oh, sorry, Is that the thing they but, said you are not weren't to say to anybody? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, Ashley Banjo's off on his tour. Yes, yeah. he is. So you've got Johnny filling in. Johnny. We have Johnny where Johnny is an incredible Olympic winner. Uh, figure skater and he came and he did a show and I think all of us were just gobsmacked like literally mouth open astonished one of the most incredible programs and shows that we've ever ever seen and he's just fabulous you know it's such a pleasure to be oh, on the panel my word. just look at him go the elegance I'd love to be able to do that I know right just to get up have those strong thighs wow. oh, he's yeah. going fast there is a oh, show you can go on, uh, Josie, to learn how to do that. I break my face in a bit. We like could this. sort of like... <laughs> That'd be TV gold. That'd be TV gold. We would love it. Babies. Yes, we got babies. babies. Yeah. How are you finding uh, parenthood, motherhood? I, do you know what? It's, it's kind of... There's this new level of exhaustion yeah. that you learn to work with, but it is the most amazing thing ever. When you wake up in the morning and, and you see the little baby's face, or my yeah. little baby's face, her, and you're just like, wow, I absolutely love you. I love motherhood. I love how it feels. I love just that new feeling of... This is who I need to become to be strong for you. Um, and just the gratitude that I feel to be able to actually have a little girl, oh. which is amazing. Yeah, she came quite early, didn't she? You were in she NICU did. for a long time. Yeah, I, she was in the NICU for about six weeks. Uh, she oh. came two months early, which was totally unexpected. Um, we, we didn't know. And actually, I gave birth at the UCLH, and they were so amazing, oh. the NHS, and I've said this so many times, I don't usually get sick, so I never really am in hospitals, so I never really have to use the NHS that much, but then I really needed them, and they were incredible. Like, we were taken care of so much, and not just me, but all the mothers there. I have a few NICU mom friends now, uh, and we, we keep in touch, and we talk about each other's children, but... I think the whole process to go through it was, was something really traumatizing. Yeah. Um, and I didn't really talk about it you for a long time. You kept it a secret. Yeah. You're very good at keeping mm. secret. <laughs> no, you just don't say anything. It's <laughs> yeah. not a secret. You just don't say anything. Um, yeah, I didn't say anything for about nine, ten weeks um, because I, I first I wanted time with her and my yeah. husband. Uh, we just wanted to be a family. With my family, Mutsi came from Germany. My parents came from South Africa. He's so lovely, your husband. Yeah. So, <laughs> you're so well suited, aren't you? <laughs> He's lovely. He's lovely. <laughs> um, and we just wanted to be a family and just have fun, enjoy Christmas. And then we were like, OK, fine. Now we're all calm. Everything is OK. We can just talk about it and celebrate her. Um, we find out so much about you every yeah. time you come onto the sofa. But one thing we did not know no. about <laughs> is your secret, secret, sordid past as a civil, civil engineer. engineer. Yeah, you didn't know. <laughs> no. She's smart. <laughs> you know? uh, yeah, no, um, I studied civil engineering um, as in South Africa. But I, I started dancing when I was four, and then I studied civil engineering. Um, and that's really why, because I'm a part of this incredible team called the T-Team. And really, we, we talk and we raise awareness about this new qualification that's called the T-Levels. The and it's amazing. And for one T-Level, it's three A-Levels. And it's, we talk to a lot of 16 and 19-year-olds because... You know, sometimes you study something and you don't know what you want to do, where you want to work. And with this, within the two years, you actually get 45 days industry placement. Yeah. And it's so incredible for parents who are like, well, you might want to try this. You might not like it. Feel how it is. Because when I was studying, 
I studied and then I actually got to work and I didn't like it. I was like, this is not for me. <laughs> but I learned a few transferable skills from there, like timekeeping, which I never keep. I'm surprised I'm actually on time. I don't know how you do it. I know. I don't know how you do it. Not with a baby as well, I just don't know how you do it. it, it, it but you do it. That's the thing, you do it, you know. It, and I would say that is due sort of to my engineering background where you're able to look at a problem and just find the solutions and be like, how do I fix this? How do I make it work for me, for my husband, for work? How do I just... Make it all work. It's the Mums post. just do it. Yeah. Mums just talk do about doing it. I can't believe I've been called a mum on this morning. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Mums just do it. Yeah, you look so proud. You doing, you should be. Good to see Always you. Always a pleasure Thank to see you. you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. All right. Thank great you so much. You. Thank we'll you. We'll see you soon. Take